Hi, this is Yoongun. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to apply these kind of 3D text inside your 3D world of your drone footages. When I first saw this kind of uh, feature in other video, I thought, was that possible? Can I learn that? It was so cool. Let's try to watch some examples of these kind of 3D text. How do you insert these kind of like rainbow dots? How do you insert these kind of red triangles into your drone footages? How do you put these kind of circles? and letting the drone go through it. How do you write these kind of heights to the building, just side by side? And how do you write the names on it and the heights and the name of the bridge in 3D text and writing the name of the bridge side by side, which makes so cool. And writing the name of the summit and this give more information to your videos. Isn't it so cool? So what kind of program do we have to use to apply these kind of 3D text? I use these programs. I use Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Let's try to watch how to apply these 3D text. First, you have to install, install these two programs and run Adobe Premiere first. Load the drone footage that you want to add 3D text. And let's try to add the 3D text at this video. This is a kind of a sample video that I wanted to show you today. Like you can write down on the top of the building like this and you can add the name of the building side by side like this which give much more information to your drone footages when you uh, and you can also draw these kind of 3D boundaries uh, when you take the building. Now I will show you the easiest tutorial ever. Just follow these few steps. Let's go. Always please subscribe, it gives me a lot of help. Okay, so today I'm gonna use this kind of sample here and I'll try to apply here and show you how to apply the 3D text here. And this was actually the village that I live about like five years ago. My my kids, that was my kindergarten for my kids. And before going to this kindergarten, there's an apartment here in front of it. So this apartment's name is called Kolon Kolon Apartment. So I'm going to try to write the text, the name of the building above this apartment right here. It's very simple. First, try to crop here and then when it passes, try to crop it again. So you'll have this kind of crop video, video right here. Try to make this as, as, as small as you can because if it's too long, it's going to take a lot of rendering time. Try to make as short as possible you can make it. And then right click, press replace with After Effects Composition like this. And when you click, that's it. Then the plugin Adobe After Effects is going to run automatically like this. And it's going to be connected. First, write the name of the file you want to save. And I'll just write a colon apartment, which is the apartment's name and save it. And you'll see that it's going to be loaded right here in an after effects like this. That's it. Very simple, right? This is, and then don't forget, just write down 10 pixels right here. I'll tell you later why you have to do this and then click tracker here and then just click track camera right here. If you click it, that's it. That's how simple it is. Just click it. Then it's going to say analyzing in background and you can see that it's initializing. It's now you can see that there's 155 frames frames like 1%, 2% it's going up, right? So it's now calculating. It's now analyzing this every frame of the video footage that you just cropped. So it analyzed this is the like the clear part, more foggy part, which is more further part, farther part. And then it analyzes the shades of the in each images. And then it analyzed the 3D like this, like the 3D movie, like Avatar. When you make it, when you send it to a certain uh, company, what they do is that with this 2D movie, they they use the same technology by analyzing these kind of shades and foggy part then they convert it to 3d movie that's how we how they make the 3d movies like this so it's the same uh, technology and you can see that there's like shades here and it's that's more farther place it's more foggy part at the far away vampire part 
So it analyzes the depth of this image, each frame of the images. Then, if it's more clear and more crisp, it's more near to you. But I'm not sure about this how they how it works. But it's super cool and super easy. And then you can see it's already like 80% now. So let's just wait for like 15 seconds. Then I think it's going to be done. Let's try to wait. And let's try to see others. So you have to be in composition tab right here. Just click it here. They, you have to be always working in composition tab. And try to see that at this MP4. This is the file's name. And 100%. It says solving camera in orange strip. And you can see that. Uh, the, like there's a like red circle here you can you can see these rainbow dots all over the surface of the drone foot it's just you, you have just cropped so cool right so it's now already recognizing and uh, this uh image is a 3d so you can see this kind of circle and with if you have three dots three points that's one surface right so you can add you can create a surface, an imaginary surface like that. Anyway, I'm going to write down 3D text on this uh, elevator core here of this apartment. I'm going to choose this surface right here. Just click right and uh, click create text and camera to add a text. And to make a site boundary, create uh, click create null and camera. Just like I just showed in the earlier video of this, uh, this video to tutorial. Anyway, today let's click uh, text and camera. Just click this one and then you'll see the text on the building let's go to character and then let's change this to and you can see that let's try to see see the, there's a 3d text on the on the apartment first click the text layer okay you have to always click the text layer and then you'll have this kind of three coordinates try to rotate the X, Y, Z coordinates as, as, as you want. I'm going to align it vertically to the top of the apartment top like this. You can uh, rotate by just rotating with a mouse click like this. And this looks, looks good, right? And you can also click the arrow, the green arrow to move up. And it looks a little bit big. I'm going to make it to maybe like three pixels like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type uh, colon apartment, which is the name of the apartment, like this. And then you can add just all, all kind of uh, the, like spacings. And you can just add just everything right up here. And oh, and I wanna add the red triangle to this uh, video. What we do is that. Let's try to write in uh, Korean, okay? And then, you know, you know this one, you can... Uh, I make, uh, I make, actually make these uh, triangles by the text like this. I just choose the special symbols like this. And then, oh, but the thing is that it does not work in Adobe After Effects. Okay, let's try to make this kind of a uh, special symbols at another like Window Explorer and another text window. Let's just bring it up it here. I'm gonna write down Korean and then gonna just type the. I'm gonna press the control button. I'm gonna make up this. I'm gonna choose number four. I'm gonna copy this and so let's try to copy, which is book sign Korean, and then let's try to paste it here. You see right there. So this is the red triangle that how I make the red triangles. Uh, this, let's try to change the spacing to three pixels because the font is through three pixels. And then let's change the color to red. So this is how I make the red three uh, red triangles like this. Very simple, right? And then let's try to move by just uh, moving this green. And you can see that. Okay, let's try to see. And then click the arrow here, and then you can move a little bit upwards by clicking the green arrows. Oh, and let's try to align a little bit to the center of the elevator core. Oh, that looks much better. And the font size seems to be a little bit big. Let's change to two pixels and the spacings to two pixels. And yeah, there it is. That looks perfect. Oh, good. A little bit. Let's just add just a little bit more uh, as a like. Let it make it more, a little bit vertical like this. 
Yeah, it looks like this. Okay, perfect. That's it. And then let's try to, let's save it. Let's try to go back to Premiere. And then you can see that this cropped fo uh, video files are now changed to pink in the color of pink. And you'll see that it's going to be loaded automatically that you can see that these two programs are linked to each other. And you can see that the text is going to pop up like this. See? But it does not look that much good because it pops up like this. So it's a little bit unnatural. So what I do is that I try to make it fade in and fade out by clicking apply the default transitions like this. At the, these two connections, I just apply, uh, apply the default transitions like this. And it's going to fade in and fade out very smoothly like this. See, it's fading in and fading out. So as a default transition at, uh, at effects, the video transition, when you click the dissolve and there's a cross dissolve and I press the select it as a default transition. So that's why I'm applying the default transition as the cross dissolve right here. See, it's now fading very naturally here like this. So how do you insert these kind of 3D rainbow dots? It's kind of an, another cool effects to show the 3D world. And I showed you like those kind of like these kind of like 3D dots, uh, 3D rainbow dots here. So it's like twinkling and it looks really cool. So I'm going to show you how to apply these kind of uh, 3D rainbow dots into your video, uh, drone videos. At first time, like you can see that there's only text only here and there's no uh, rainbow dots on the surfaces. But let's try to go to After Effects and then try to click the movie file, the MP4 file, go inside the effects and go inside the 3D uh, tracker, camera tracker, render track point should be on. Then what happens is that it's going to turn on and render together these uh, rainbow dots together. So you can see that, let's try to see, see, these is twinkling, it's now it's, those dots are on every surface that just has analyzed. When you come back to Adobe Premiere, and you can see that it's also these kind of uh, dots are also rendered together like this. It's very cool, right? But sometimes somebody said I can apply these kind of uh, stuff. What's going on? There's kind of, is that a bug? But actually the reason why you can't, let's try to test. I'm going to tell you in the first time I was very curious why it's not working, but it happens in this kind of situations. For example, in this video footage, if you want to add like 3D like text to that surface right there, sometimes it does not work. The reason why is that, let's see, let's try to test. Okay, let's try to crop the video like this. And then they say, let's try to replace with the After Effects composition. Then as you can see, that's going to be loaded to the After Effects automatically right away. Let's try to, let's try to wait and I see. It's gonna be here like this. So just click the track camera, then it's gonna say analyzing in background like that, and it's initializing, it's working right. If it's the same video. So it's it's working totally fine, right? And then sometimes if the video is too long, what you do is that you manipulate the speed of the video, right? So Let's say I want to make it faster here. It's too slow here. It's just a little bit boring. So if I want to make it fly faster, I click at the right button and I write, I say the speed maybe 300%, which is three times faster. And what happens is that, will this also apply to 3D text? Let's try it. Let's just try it. Press the right button, replace with After Effects composition. And then yes, it imports that files also. It works just fine. And then let's try to click the track camera, whether it works or not. And it's working, analyzing in background like this. So that's okay. So, but one day I found out that this, I speed up some kind of video, but it was not working. I couldn't apply any 3D text. The reason why was for this was that uh, some, it's because I've used another, another skills. 
uh, which is called, uh, you can click here, show click frames, go to timer mapping and the speed. So these uh, is this kind of uh, features for when you want to add like a gradation, when you want to add a, a speed graph onto your video and when you're taking a one, one take shot, what you can do is that you just press the control button and your left click and then you can add these kind of uh, dots right here. You can crop it and then you can like make it faster maybe like 300% and you can like move this move around like this it's gonna have these kind of gradation it's gonna speed up a little bit and it's gonna be speed down like this you can make this kind of a kind of a graph on it by using time remapping and maybe here like you want to add a little bit more more like spacings there and you want to add another spacing by clicking control key and your left button and then let's try to make it to like 800 percent which is like eight times faster and let's try to see what happens at your video that like when you go zoom it goes much faster like boom like that so we add these kind of like a speeding up in one video without cropping anything but if you want to add like 3D text here and if you click to the right, wait, you can like zoom, zoom in a little bit and click, or click right button, replace this after effects uh, composition. What happens is that, yes, it loads it, but if you press the track camera, it says 3D camera tracker does not work with timer mapping. So you can see that because it's kind of like a gradation. Uh, so that's why it's this, you cannot analyze it. You cannot make any, it does not work with this time mapping. To, so to add the 3D text to time map video, what you do is just render it first and then just load the final result of that render time map video and then try to apply the 3D text right away. And it was Yungun.